Alright, welcome back. This is round uh, six? I think this is round six. I'm playing it against Daphne17. In fact, let's double check that this is round six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, round six. Um, X and one in the vintage RCQ from November 13th, 2022. And I'm playing against an opponent that I didn't really recognize. Um, in fact, pulling up their uh, their goldfish, it was mostly PO and Tinker. Um, a little bit of standstill, a little bit of looks like Teamer Tempo. I don't know what the hell that is, um, but uh, I expected some sort of blue blue mirror of some kind. Um, TBD, whether it would be with PO, whether it would be with uh, Tinker, both, etc. But have a great hand. Um, <clears throat> I'm insulated against uh, Wasteland. I'm a little bit kind of... I don't have any red sources, don't have any white sources, but we've got plenty of card draw. We've got a forest, we've got dress down to check sagas. We have a jet so we can maybe even turn two, call up Luris, turn three, play Luris. We've got a lot of options here. We're keeping regardless. And leading with island, or leading with jet, that island. And from here, I think I like leading on consider. Um, I think I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to main phase it or do it on their turn. I think, what's the upside to main phasing? If I hit a, a sapphire, it's really good to main phase it. If I hit a, another mox, it's okay to main phase. It doesn't really do much. What are the downsides to doing it now? Maybe I want to brainstorm. It's possible that I want to brainstorm this turn. It's possible I want to dress down this turn. So I think I should not cast anything here. And yeah, I don't. The downside to doing this is if they, like for example, if they have uh, land, if, they, if, if I consider end of turn and they use that as their window to try and resolve something, I guess we fight over it, but that's going to happen regardless. This island isn't doing anything for me since I don't have a Fluster Storm in hand. Um, but they just, well, they, they F6 check me. I hate it when they do that. Fragmentize. It's kind of caught me off guard. One, it means I wasted my jet. So... I think, uh, you know, in retrospect, clearly I fucked up on some level. This jet should not be in play. I don't think it actually does anything in play. Um, it threatens a vampiric tutor, I guess, is the thing. But I don't know that that matters. Um, and Fragment has a little punish. I'll consider in response. I don't think there's a reason not to at this point. Breach. And I think I've been the breach. Because I need land. And sure. So here, um, I think I'm going to play Flooded Strand. I guess I'm going to Brainstorm first. There's no reason to let them uh, fluster this. And they misstep it. Interesting. Um, this Brainstorm is really important, but I think because Force is my only piece of interaction, I think I'm just going to let this go. <coughs> play the Valk. Yeah, I like playing the Valk. Um, save my fetch. I might need to crack this. I might want to get white with this. Um, and Tundra, I don't know if this really tells me much. Um, I still I still have them on a, on a Tinker Pile of some sort. Maybe this makes P.O. a little more likely because Esper Saga is kind of um, out of uh, out of popularity. Okay, Opal. Opal Pass. Well, now I think I can put them on a pretty hard read of P.O. Sapphire. Um, Sapphire is not bad, but I don't think it really does anything for me. Yeah. And the nice thing about binning the Sapphire, I mean, I already have the jet in the bin, so it's not the greatest um, uh, consolation, but I can rebuy it with Luris, so it's not dead in there. Um, here, I like, I like playing Arcanist and Wastelanding the Tundra. Now, I normally wouldn't go after the Tundra here. A repeal, interesting. 
Um, but my opponent's play of Opal Go on turn two is just so weak. And so this makes a lot of sense for why they would play out the Opal. Um, but wasting them here, I think it sets them back enough that it's worth it. And then I just let this let this happen. It's stupid to fight over this if I'm going to be uh, potentially fighting over the Arcanist afterward. And I do fight, and it resolves, and I feel like I'm in great shape. Is that another repeal? Oh god, that art is ugly. Um, but I have Arcanist. I untap with Arcanist. I <laughs> tap with Arcanist and Pyroblast. I'm feeling great here. So this is just going to get a brainstorm. I think there's some merit to maybe doing Consider instead, um, because I, I, both these cards are such bangers. But the part of the reason why Flooded Strand is a banger is because I can use it to shuffle back in at the Wasteland. And in fact, I'm, I'm paid off here. Um, so here, I think what I really want to do... Interesting. So I can put back Valk Flooded Strand. Play the Pearl. Waste them. Call up Luris. I'm exposed to a blue card this one turn, or uh, uh, with, uh, Pyroblast down this one turn. They're back to needing to draw a land. Their hand right now is Mox Opal and two unknowns. So it would be very difficult for them to play the Opal, turn on Metalcraft, and be plus mana. They would need like another Mox or a Lotus or something. Let's see what I do. Yeah. Now, I don't know if I should <coughs> call up Luris, though, is the thing. Okay, I like this too. Okay, I think I like this better. This, this seems like it's safer. So. That opal does represent some amount of mana to them. And they've already used a force. This pyroblast is gonna be really good unless, you know, Yog Will is kind of a scary one. Not necessarily yet, but it could be. Demonic Tutor could be scary. Um, Swords to Plowshares is a bit of a pain in the ass here. Um, but for the most part, otherwise, I think this is better for me. I like this. I like this. And then next turn, I've got a fetch on top. I can play the Luris, play a uh, uh, an artifact, waste, and hold a Pyroblast. Yeah, so let's do this. Time Bolt. Well, I can't do anything about that. And now I have to feel like I'm in really good shape. I still have to fade Manifold Key. Um, maybe even for multiple turns. Didn't that I get to dig? Cool, that's a great draw. And I have to again decide whether I want to dig or Luris or Pyroblast or can I do all three? So if I go Pearl, Tundra, Wasteland, play Luris, play Sapphire, Sapphire Island, dig. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can do that. I think that's what I should do. Play Luris, play Sapphire, play dig, hold up Pyro. I think I dig first. Why do I dig first? No, maybe I don't. I do dig first. Why do I dig first? Um, 
I mean, Lurus getting back a Mox isn't that interesting. This does, so I think I think my thinking here is the only way I lose this game if I can keep Pyroblast up, you know, aside from like some, some corner case, vintage corner case, it's like fine, is Valky. And like I can wasteland the Tundra, but that doesn't really change the math on Vault Key because if my opponent has a Mox Opal in hand, they could just draw Vault, draw Key, play Key, use Key. So if I dig and I get, say, a Mental Misstep or a Force of Will and a blue card, I think I just lock the game up and then I can play Luris next turn. I think that's the argument here. And did I exile anything interesting? I didn't really exile anything interesting either that I could have looped with Luris and Underworld Breach. Like there was no time walk. There was no ancestral. All right, I think I've talked myself into this. And then I can wasteland the Tundra, hold open Pyroblast, or, you know, kind of go from there. So when it exiles Snapcaster Mage and forces, I'm pretty priced into Pyroblast in this. <laughs> So again, my worry here is vault key and corner cases. Um, if I don't force here, I'm still just exposed to vault key, and I'm still pretty much exposed to the corner cases because I don't have my pyroblast. This resolves. I really want the time walk. If I take time lock, I need to land. If I get a land, I think that's okay. I really also want the bobble for this Lurus. I also want this Express Finish. I want everything here. I think you can make a compelling argument for like all of these cards. Um, I, I think time walk land though is is the most. Is it? Time walk land gets me one card now, one card next turn, but that card next turn is a mock sapphire, and then I get one random card. But I also get a flashback to consider. Yeah, I take the time walk here. I think I take time walk land. Time walk bobble. Okay, well. Hmm. I don't think I like how I played that. I think this doesn't make much sense. Oh, scoreboard. Um, now, obviously, this is a great draw. Um, problem with this is that, like, I, maybe I should have used the wasteland. I don't know what holding the wasteland does for me. Um, so this was a little uh, incongruent on the last turn. Game two. Sideboarding here, pretty straightforward. I did bring in the Shattering Spree. Um, I don't know if I should, but I'm I just kind of bring it in and out depending on uh, vibes. I cut the Mox Jet. I don't know why I did this. I, I rarely do that. I'm going to cut that instead of a, a colored source because I was leaving in some extra swords. I, I don't know. This, there's only so many ways you could board. Like, I, I, Ledger Shredder came out because the whole Breacher. Force came out because I usually do here. Mystical Tutor because I always do here. And then the island, I think, is, is fine. But okay, that might be something to review. I don't know what that process was. Uh, yeah, we keep these. This is just stupid good. Um, see how it goes wrong. Time walk. Tinker. Huh, that's how it goes wrong. Okay. Well, I did have the one. Um, Shattering Spree in the deck, so um, I, I was live to this, but we don't get there. Um, we're going to try and play through it the best we can, but obviously there's only so much you can do here. I'm not going to parse this out too much. I value Breach just to try and get something on board. Basically have to scam them into missing... Uh, uh, Getting low life and then just missing missing once uh, and and not being able to draw out of it. 
but yeah, no, this is this is not happening. Uh, opponent has a very very good PO draw and just kind of does the thing. <laughs> um, keeping a turn one hand on the draw without force of will may be a little loose, but that that hand, come on, no one's mulliganing that hand. Um, but my opponent manages to win here. Um, they did have vault. Uh, key. I think at one point they had the crypt, but the crypt went away. Is that right? Or this one they didn't even have the crypt, so well, it's not even a not even a, a worry. But game three. Let's see if the sideboard changed at all. Yeah, I brought out the shattering spree because um, now I'm on the play. I think I have a little bit better um, coverage there. Um, I brought out a swords. I don't know. I'm late in the event. Who knows? And this is the hand. This hand's actually great. Um, it covers Ancestral in a couple of ways. It also um, has some fast mana to bring up Luris, and I have one of the white sources already, so this could cast an early Luris. I bin the Wasteland, find Ancestral, and then I'm going to Ancestral here. Um, so this. I don't love Ancestral here. I really, I'm really cautious with my Ancestrals, almost to a fault, I think, um, because the, you, you, this card has to resolve. Like, you can't put the city card in your deck, trade one for one, and, 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 and be happy with it. So this is the spot where Force punishes me. I can't misstep that, but I can misstep a misstep. Um, and because I have the misstep to cover a Pyroblast, maybe I'm meant to wait on this until I draw a red source. I think this is just a really bad punish for me. And I go ahead and misstep this. If I didn't have the breach in my hand, maybe I would have let it resolve. But this is already angling toward being a breach game. I really want this to be able to value breach with my ancestral here uh, if I can. Um, and that also cuts them off of metalcraft. So it, it, it may be a spot where they needed metalcraft. I don't know. But my opponent gets ancestral, so I kind of know what's coming. But I draw force. Ooh, that's a really good draw. So here, lose the flip. I think. Nope, they win that flip. Play a sapphire. Have metalcraft. Starts with ancestral. One card back in hand. Huh. Thank goodness I can cast this. I don't have a. Okay, well, that, hand, that turn went by quickly. I uh, considered away a second pyroblast. It looks like. Um, and then found a white source, a pearl, played the pearl, called a pluris, passed the turn. So now they've got one card in their hand. Their ancestral's already spent. And they just pass. Okay, well, I play Luris. I don't have any other option. I don't have any red source. I don't even have anything to bring back with the Luris. Like, this is not good. My opponent uh, wins the flip again. Plays a Tundra and passes. So I'm not Wastelanding yet. I, I, need, I need this to cover Sagas. Um, I, I basically, I need it to, to, to provide some value somehow. And here, I just get a Brain Freeze. I'm looking for a Lotus. Um, I'm looking for a Bobble. I'm looking for anything. I just need, I need a Red Source. There's a Red Source. And there's a Bobble, too. We get the red source. Um, I feel really good about this game if I can just... Okay, I don't know why it's tapped. I think this might be a, a Magic Online uh, bug. There's no reason why it should be tapped, right? They dash the monkey? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, my opponent? Wins the flip again. There's a Mox, past the turn. Now this should signal Force of Will, I think. Otherwise, why play the Mox? And I think this was a, a mistake in retrospect. So I attack first. Yeah, I think I think Moto's just bugging. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go through this as best as I can, but um, I'm assuming I played the bobble and cracked the bobble there. Um, I would have drawn an extra card, though. Um, I think I also 
dash Ragavan. I think they cast the force. There's a lot going on here that I think this replay is, is bugging out on, but we'll, we'll go through it here. And my opponent taps, f yeah. Uh, Okay. Well, essentially, the way this game ends, <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not playing waiting either Luris. Um, I think the way this game ends is uh, Luris and Ragavan uh, close it. Um, I don't remember if a breach ended up being involved or not. Um, I'm assuming it, at some point here, I value breach, uh, cast ancestral, cast a few good cards, and close the game out pretty uh, pretty trivially from there. Um, but this was round six against uh, against Po. Uh, we've got two more rounds left in the event, um, uh, along with the uh, quarterfinals match in the top eight. So thank you very much for watching.